Welcome back, everyone, to Buoyancy. I'm Drake Hawkins, and thank you for joining me for another episode. We uh, we have some food issues. You know, we got uh, pretty much no food in stock. Our nutrition value is down to 60%, and um, uh, we got a lot of, uh, a decent amount of stuff built at the beginning. We do need the dirt uh, gatherer. What's his name? He's a deep something. Deep diver, I think, right? Yeah, deep diver. We're going to build him off this way to uh, kind of round out the construction. And uh, then he can start getting us some soil to get uh, started on that. Uh, he also gathers oil from things. We are currently whaling right now and get, getting a bit of whale from the harpooner here. Um, he isn't super duper productive. He's kind of slow, but I mean he's producing. We're going to have to let that tick away. Well, he gets the whale, uh, can we get the butcher to use it? Looks like we can. All right, look at that. Made some meat and some blubbers. Good, get that meat going because that's important. Now, there's a, a galley I wanted to look at. This thing is interesting. Uh, this is a food center, basically. Uh, I wonder if we can put it somewhere sensible that works. Um, where would I want this? kind of like the idea of putting it close in here these openings are too small if I put it there we can build something back in here can we fit a storehouse in there yeah but I don't think we'd be able to fit the galley in there then what else do we want in there uh, refinery uh, refines crude oil or blubber into delicious gasoline gasoline can be used to power motor uh, yes I want that in here but I want that other uh, space filler mover plank bridge that's the word that right there so I can fit it in uh, I'm gonna put a refinery in here but right now probably not probably not yet uh, and probably we're gonna put like more platforms out this way for our fuels uh, our motors motor uh, when we move you'll see again when we move again there's like eight bars on the speed bar the first four can be is as high as the production can go for, or movement can go with, uh, with basic. Oh, there's a double food spot. Oh, good. Um, with rowing, you need uh, you need motors to get faster than those ones. So I'm just gonna like tweak it around. See the movement bars? That little line there indicates we can't get any higher without having. Uh, um, without having motors. Hmm, there's a drifting resource there. I wanna, I'm want i turning around because I want to get the uh, the fishing and the kelp over to that area while well, this guy's farming. It's a little little convoluted. Just These guys are so confused not knowing what to do with themselves. Okay, so we've got the butcher going. He's using up the uh, whale not quite as fast as we have it. Now, 67 nutrition, that's improving. It, these man, these these whales are huge for food. That's fantastic. I, you don't always find them. They're fairly, they're fairly. Uh, uh, I don't know. I wouldn't say entirely infrequent, but they're not not a lot of them. Or at least in my experience. If you guys have different experience, let me know. If I'm babbling on about something, you're like, no. Nah, oh, village to dark clouds on the horizon. Which way? I want I want to see. Which way are the dark clouds coming from? I can't look up. Can I look? No, stop. I can't. Can I change my angle of view? No. Uh-oh. I want to be ready to go. There's going to be a storm. That's the problem. The wind seems to be coming this way, so I'm going to gamble that the wind, the storm's going to come through this way and hope that I can, like, dodge this way or that way away from it. I, I don't know. I don't know if there's an indication. That just seems like it makes sense to me but I'd love to get this stuff finished this whale finished before the uh, storm hits dark clouds in the horizon unless that was a metaphor for pirates attacking which does happen it is not cool we need a guardhouse that's what we need how's the whale four percent takes a lot of meat uh, let's see the ratio here the whale consumes ten parts I guess um, when nearby a whale. Okay, so the the harpooner is not a passive. Oh, hunts marine animals like whale, but only if he's close to the if it's close to the building. Okay. 
That's interesting. So he's he's a very powerful little uh, gatherer, but only for the at the right time. Uh, it takes ten parts of the whale. So this is two more runs of this process. Okay, and he produces how many meat? Let's see. It'll pop up there. Splat, splat. I didn't I didn't see. Yeah, plus five. Okay, not bad. He gets five whale meat or five meat and five blubber. All right, that's okay, and the, it's now gone, so good. Let's let's get moving. New villager has been born. Yay! Let's look at this merchant. Just oh, there's some rain. Where's the clouds? Plastic washed up on the bridge. Okay, let's get them into the fishing here. It's excellent. A kelp and oh, come on, stop. There you go. Oh, I kind of don't want to move you, but we can go to there. There you go. Oh wait. What are you doing? Oh, whoa, 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 don't, 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 don't smash into it. That'd be horrible. Trading post. Uh, let's trade. What do you got to, what do you got to sell? They want resources. Uh, resources they desperately need and will trade a higher value for it. Okay. None of which I have. Junk we've got. So, your higher value is three. Hmm. Um, okay. You're only going to give me two for metal. And you'll give me three for junk. All right, what do we need? We could use some bread. 17! That's so expensive. Um, meat is 22. Goodness gracious. You got a bunch of crazies? Let's give them all the junk we have. Uh, what is it? Control... No, hold left shift to add 10 at a time. Well, let's add them all. 198 is our value. Uh, yeah, that's that's not going to be a lot of bread, but we might as well feed people. Wouldn't hurt to feed a few of our folk. There we go, 63 junk, and we get 11 bread. I think that's all right. I think we came out okay with that one. It's not super valuable fi uh, trade, but, you know, maybe it is. If you think that's awesome, or maybe it's good, I don't know. I'd love feedback on this one. Backseat Gaming, much appreciated, because... Uh, Drake is new to game, yeah? Hmm, okay, we got a school of fish over here. We can nail after this one. We're getting some stockpiled food. The nutrition's going up nicely. Having that bread added in and all that meat butchered that we just did. We're just about out of blubbers. I mean, whale. So we got 18, 24 stocked. 27, can we get a little more? 30, nice. Okay, so he's got 30 there. No more whale left over, so... No more meat coming off the butcher until we get another whale sighting somewhere. I'd almost like to have a couple of those just to for the production. Now, there's somebody working here, but his production is paused because nothing is going on. So I'm going to hit pause there so nobody's doing anything there. We sold off all our junk, and that is the recycler. So we're also going to pause him so we don't have people uh, not working in spaces that they're supposed to be. When we're moving... It's probably more likely. Uh, we got a bit of dirt coming in here. That's fantastic. 70% chance he finds dirt and 30 that he gets crude oil. And crude is going to be a good fuel source for us for sure. How are you doing smelting, sir? I got scrap metal. 220 metal in stock. I'm liking that. What else could we make? We can get an evaporator to get us some water. Probably good for uh, the future. Um, I wonder, that's a pretty small little unit. We could fit some very interesting locations, couldn't you? Uh, Medicine Hut, storehouse. We could put in a storehouse in he he here. Here, like that. Spin it that way. Put a storehouse in right, if I can get it to go green again. There we go. That's uh, going to help with our storage. Right now, our storage is at 590 of 600. So we're going to literally stop doing things if we don't get this stuff stored. So... We've got the wood and we've got the metal. That's excellent. Uh, did we empty it? We did empty that supply. Uh, junk or raft? We've got the food now. We could go back for those people. I'm going to go over to this thing. The junk pile has these guys and we're on the right angle. That's good. And a trash pile. Sorry, junk pile and trash pile. Same thing. It is called trash pile, monsieur. Not at all is loving this very beautiful... Uh, ocean of ours. It's a little wet right now. A little Vancouver-ish, but we're okay. Uh, driftwood over that way. Good. I don't think we'll go for the driftwood. I think we'll gather these little dudes right here. 
get these five in to work. Uh, come on. I don't know that I'm be able to fit them all in. And uh, turn. There we go. Had <laughs> little tweaks help. <laughs> I love it. Uh, then we got a survivor over there, and we got some uh, other resources. Got a school of fish. Got another school of fish there. I think we'll head that way immediately. Just bu buckle straight over there. We have 38 population, and we do not have... We got 20 sitting around, so maybe we don't need more of that. Let's see about uh, upgrading to the next thing. Uh, let's see. What's this? Medicine. Hmm. Uh, produces a mostly natural medicine from seaweed and plastic. <laughs> Nice. Also houses doctors that run around and heal sick villagers. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, let's put the this so that it can connect to the platform. Nice. Uh, you know what we need? Guards. Because uh, we're going to get in some, some sort of nasty trouble if we don't. Uh, I want the guard post right in here. Does it fit? Come on, fit. I thought it fit. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Nice. You just got to wiggle it around a little. Just shove it in there. Uh, storehouse, are you done yet? Yes, you are. So you can hold 300 capacity. Oh, can I tell it what it can and can't do? No, I guess they can't. Okay, that's fine. Oh, this shuts off the description. Thanks. All right, no workers needed for that building. That's fine. Uh, we got some junk now. We could convert some plastic, but I don't know that we need to yet. What are you unhappy about, little person? You're probably unhappy because you have no beer. Uh, all right. The medicine place has all it needs. Good. And this one's got all it needs. Excellent. Um, I would like to have, uh, produces location with metal. Okay. It processes metal, which means it actually uses up our metal to produce storm inbound. Uh, where? There's the storm. Go. Row. Everybody row. Faster. Get out the way. That big arrow. It's going to move a nest. Oh, look at it forming. Oh, sail fast, guys. Sail fast. We're going to go turn the boat. Turn the boat. Get out of the way. Oh, my goodness. It's a good thing we got 16 people to row because this is going to hurt. Don't blow up my boat. Oh, that was just the doctor's office. You're a mean storm. Oh, what else are we losing? Oh, no, no. Don't blow them up. Oh, wow. That hurt. We just lost the, what was that, the butcher? No, wait, what did we just lose? What was in there? Oh my goodness, the smelter just blew apart. Wow, those storms. They are destructive. We need a motor so we can move faster, because that was harsh. Wow. Uh, thinks they can build a better city themselves. <laughs> All right, you just diving overboard or what? Are you just, you're just angry. I'm angry too, okay? That was just very destructive. I was not okay with that. Stupid storms. How dare we get storms out in the open ocean after the world has fallen apart? That's just unreasonable. Is that a whale? Oh, no, it's not. Thought I saw a whale there. There's some fish. That's good. I don't know where we just scrambled to. I just ran for it. Guardhouse built, Meta's not built. Yeah, but can we replace... Can we replace the smelter, please? Uh, what's this? This is driftwood. Okay, let's get in there so we uh, get that collecting. Yeah, stop, 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 stop. Good. All right. Uh, they move pretty quick. I'm pretty impressed with how quickly we can we can row this thing in spite of its growingly large, uncomfortably large size. Still works. Okay, this is what? Medic, uh, medicine count. Okay. Uh, produces mostly natural reductions, run around and heal villagers. Okay. Um, medicine. It's not a resource per se. So I'm guessing this is just like... Oh, set limits. Oh, really? Resource limits, set priorities, and set tasks. Customize the hierarchy task assignment. Oh, hello. Row city, top priority, yes. Fight fires, next priority. Uh, yeah, probably. Ooh, then construct buildings, get resources from construction, or for construction. Work on buildings, get resources for input, get resources from buildings. I would like get resources from buildings to be hot. Ooh, that's right to the top. That's not what I wanted. Uh, I would like get resources from building is relatively high. Even before construction. Because rowing, fighting fires, and getting resources from buildings or getting resources... 
Uh, pick up from pile. Yeah, that... I think that's stuff that just falls on the edge. It just gets caught on the edge. Uh, I want that up top here. So they'll get the resources is more important than the other stuff because I really want them to actually have the resources to do something with. Let's see, we got some more survivors. We probably don't need them. We got 40 people that are barely being fed right now. Actually, we're doing pretty good. We still have that 11 bread. That's nice. We got a bit of meat from the butcher. Uh, he is actually offline right now, so I'm going to actually shut him down entirely. No point in using him. Uh, what did we have? Oh, we lost a recycler? No, he's right there. What did we have over here? Nothing. I was going to put the refinery in, though. Let's see about that. The refinery does... Right, the refinery makes fuel, and we have that blubber. We don't have any oil yet. Which is... Uh, in one of my test games, I had... A, oh, what is that? Fishing school? Yeah, fish school. Fishing school. Get learning, little fishes. Let's learn about fish at the school. Education. Good for post-apocalyptic places. Um, why do I not have any oil? Do I have oil? No, we haven't gotten any crude oil yet. Hmm. Oh, wait a second. I just blew past that resource, didn't I? Uh, I think I did. Where? There's the school of fish. There we go. We need to bring our fisheries over into that, and this is a driftwood pile. Can I actually spin you around? Because you guys are entirely in the wrong spots. That's the school of fish. Let's move the center in between them. And then stop. And keep spinning. Keep spinning. Hopefully we can turn while we're not rowing. Is that a thing? Apparently. Okay. If I use the turn button, then it activates the rowers. Cool. I was like, do we have to be going, progressing forward in order for that to work? I'm not sure. Uh, this way. Come on. Get him in. And there. Stop, stop, stop. Nice. Three there and three there. Now that's gathering efficiency right there. 53% left already on the driftwood. And the fishing has 50. Wow, that was quick. Okay. A school of fish destroyed ship. No, yeah, no. Destroyed ship. Oh, what was that? What What was that message? Somebody just fall overboard? Don't fall overboard, guys. That would be very sad. We are getting a bit of dirt. It's, I think we need 50? 40. 40 for the greenhouse. It is a flammable building. It's a... Oh, the evaporator is a fire starter. Really? Uh, so is this guy. Avoid buildings this close to flammable buildings. Okay, so keep the flammable buildings over here. I think. Are you flammable? No, nothing here is flammable. Well, that's good. We'll keep flammable buildings over this way, and we'll keep the fire starters over this way. Hopefully the guards can fix it. Actually, I need a water cannon, right? Shoots jets of water. It is uh, unrivaled at extinguishing fires. Also does a slow effect against hostiles. Hmm. Can we put that in here somewhere? If I put this guy, like, mm, right down here, am I going to get an evaporator in there? I'd love to fit an evaporator in there. Uh, how close can I tuck this? Mm, squish! Squish him in there. Where's that uh, water evaporator? Oh, man. I was hoping I could fit him in there, but I don't think we can. Yeah, that's just a fraction too small. Okay. Fine, fine. It'll be that way. I'll see if I can. Um, let's get that refinery. Did I not build them? No, I didn't. Like 12 times I didn't build them. I feel like I keep thinking about building it. Oh, man, we powered through that stuff. Right, of course we did. Do we need more survivors? Do we need more people? We have a solid amount of food. Look at all that. That's great. I think it was worth uh, risking the early start, getting all those uh, destroyed fish, destroyed fish. That looked like a whale again. I just saw a splash. Oh, man. It's annoying not being able to really have a stronger indicator. Everything seems pretty dark. Do we have a lookout? Can I do that? Can I get a lookout tower somewhere? Gives me a better, like field of view so I can zoom back a little further raft come on people hop on board let's get a fishing now uh, we had a lot of people sitting around <laughs> a lot of people uh, drifting resources are really not worth s sailing all the way around for uh, what's up here more drifty more drifty destroyed boat let's head this way there was some stuff over here trash pile um, that's a gatherable what's over there another destroyed ship destroyed ship destroyed there is a lot of ships around here Look at this. Destroyed ships everywhere. I swear, this is like the most... 
Is it is a junk? What is that? That does not look like a destroyed ship to me. That looks like a, some sort of city. Uh, trash pile is the double team, right? Yeah, let's go double team that. That sounds great. All right, we got no plastic right now because we don't have a recycler on. Do we want to turn that on? Hmm, maybe. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. I wanted the galley. That was important. Uh, can we fit the galley up here? Of course we can. Nice. Uh, but how are we gonna access it? Hmm. Yeah, it's probably gonna have to be like over here somewhere, and then have the uh, road thing, the pathway, the bridges. That's the word. Have them tucked around here, like this, and on this side as well. And then we can build inside. I like the idea of the galley because uh, if you read it. I haven't used one before, but a gathering place for villagers to eat food. Villagers regain more nutrition here, and building provides unlimited storage. Uh, like, unlimited what storage? Like, food storage or everything storage? A galley would... If it provides unlimited storage, then why do I have a storage house? <laughs> it seems a little weird. Uh, let's see how we can, if we can get into this one. This is the tight parking unit right here. Yeah, there's the baby, and then turn you a little bit. There we go. We got this, guys. We got this figured out. This looks like a city. Sheep uh, Nautico. Okay. Led by the fearless Captain Sheep. Okay. This is a friendly, meat-eating, whale-loving city. Uh, okay. That sounds creepy. As long as it's just whale you're eating. Uh, a recent storm blew up some of their buildings. Oh, no. Uh, population 27 military zero that's nice prisoner zero faction independent question mark uh, open to most interactions all right behavior friendly to dock and interact with the city simply collide <laughs> that sounds rude just collide with the city come on We're better navigators than that but let's go collide with the city shall we uh, destroyed ship is scavengers so let's spin it's not gonna make it or something on this side I can grab there's driftwood in a destroyed ship uh, you know what we will sail up past that that's fine now did we make this guy what was what were we waiting on we're waiting on plastic so the recycler has to go back online resume we also have uh, goods to be moved that's cool when we're when this number is not uh, full what ends up happening is it takes a while for us to get stuff. So, for instance, our scavengers may be sitting there with a bunch of resources. Or our fish. There. See the two crates right there of fish? Uh, those are not in our inventory. Those can't be used until we actually get them. Uh, I was going for that destroyed ship. But it's going to be out of range. Hmm. Let's go here, then. Let's see what this city has to tell has to say. Oh, that was, dude. That was rude. Very bad sailing. Uh, we can recruit villagers. Hmm. We can trade. Villagers or prisoners? Really? Uh, they want beer. Don't we all, buddy? Don't we all? Um, what could we get from you that's a value? We could get whale parts. That's worth 15 meat and 15 blubber for a lot of money. Uh, that is 510 resources. <laughs> I feel like we're probably not going to be able to afford your work. Sorry. Uh, let's leave the trade thing. Let's talk to them about... Um, we could demand resources. Extort resources from the city. Hmm. I don't want to anger Captain Sheep and his people yet. Maybe we'll come back and rough them up if we need to. Uh, recruit. Oh, population of 50 reached. Let's get the heck out of here because now we got to do something about this. We don't want to invade them yet. Uh, I would like that thing but I'm gonna have to swing the boat around somehow to do that uh, well we're at it let's collide with that resource what do we got there destroyed ship driftwood we could just go to that one I mean, this is a destroyed ship but so is that one so let's head that way since we don't have to circle around that way uh, we'll grab that what's this 12 wood okay and this one 12 uh, 5 wood and but we don't and we aren't finding very much of is uh, uh, fish. Oh, was that a survivor raft? It is. I don't need more survivors. We have way too many already. I feel like maybe we have too many. Oh, this is the front. <laughs> this is my forager out front. Uh, I was gonna grab 
something. Where is it? This destroyed ship over there for some more metal. We don't really need the metal right now, though, so let's just keep sailing. Uh-oh, what? Owen tried to impress others by juggling knives. It didn't end well. <laughs> we now have 54 people. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Uh, on that note, though, we need to uh, consider taking a break here. Coming back for another episode, we've gotten ourselves decently producing, I think. Uh, the doctor's doing his thing. We got our plastics being or junk being processed into plastics. That's great. Uh, we got a school of fish over there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to go grab these people, maybe? I want, I want to at least park the boat to get the fish. That would be rude to steal all the fish and then sail away without them. So maybe we won't do that. Oh, what's over here? School of fish. I haven't found anything that produces crude. Like, previously, last playthrough, my test playthrough, I had like 60-something crude oil from collection spots very very quickly so i'm, I'm kind of disappointed that we're not getting much uh there we go fisheries active and move here stop let's just turn into it come on there we go raft recruit them i know we don't need to but I can't steal their food and then just walk away. That's just too much. All right, but we're going to put uh, put a cut in here. Uh, not at all is ready for anything, I think. There's our water tower, water cannon. That's fantastic. It can put out fires real good for us. I'm, I'm happy with that. What I'm not happy with is the piratey potential situation. We may be running ourselves into uh, having too big of a city and attracting some baddies real quick here. There we go. That is empty already. Uh, we can go over and collect a bunch more driftwood. Um, driftwood? Yeah, that's scrap metal, actually. I'm not sure how scrap metal floats. I understand driftwood and plastic, but how is this scrap metal sitting around? Like, what do you got? Car parts just kind of floating around up on the surface? I'm not sure what's going on there. But we are going to keep exploring and see if we can find some other new things to, uh, to snag. We just need to clip the edge of that, and it'll wash up on the fishery. Look at that. There we go. Let's, uh, let's turn into this... Uh, destroyed ship here. What are we going to need? Scavengers. All right, boys. You got a, fi a ship to to salvage. But we'll do that next episode and we'll continue our the adventures of Not At All as we travel the seas, uh, which is, you know, the entire world of our water world now. So that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying things. It's a, it's a look at buoyancy, a seven-day showcase of buoyancy. Happy Saturday. I hope you're enjoying your day and your weekend. And uh, join us tomorrow for some more buoyancy, a stream tomorrow. If you're watching this, every Sunday we stream over on Twitch. And uh, if you guys want, uh, you can support the channel mostly by showing up and watching more episodes. That's what we really need. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you in game.